A man sentenced for a Barrett Beck's murder may not spend the rest of his life in prison, but tonight Dennis Brantner will be thinking about it. I was in the Fond du Lac courtroom when Beck's family shared their pain with a killer who broke their hearts. No one should have to go through the drama of having to bury their 18-year-old daughter. In a courtroom packed with family and friends wearing Barrett Beck's favorite color red. Heavy hearts for Dave and Diane Beck. I'm thankful for the 18 years I had with her and often find myself thinking about what she would have become. A wife, mother, and probably a musician. Barry's picture front and center in the courtroom for everyone to see, including her convicted killer. All he has left is a haunting guilty conscience because he's a ruthless predator. The aspiring musician left her Racine County home in July of 1990 in the family van. The 18-year-old was on her way to a training seminar in Appleton, but never made it, leaving younger brother Ben and countless others to wonder what kind of life Barry would have lived. Would she have children? Would I have been an uncle? All these questions will forever be unanswered because of one evil man. No words to heal only hope that justice will be served. A fair punishment in my estimation would be at least 27 and a half years without parole because that's how long we've been without Barry. The 64 year old Brantner was sentenced to the maximum 10 years for second degree reckless homicide. Now Brantner agreed to an Alfred plea which allowed him to maintain innocence while admitting there's enough evidence to convict him.